Hi everyone, it's Lisa and Luna from Don't Run With Scissors, back with another Technique Tuesday. Today we're going to be playing again with chalks and pastels, and this time playing with liquids, uh, and how you can use those in incorporating that with your chalks. Um, so let's dive right in, uh, but quick, actually a recap. Uh, two weeks ago we did videos on what you can do with the chalks, and you can go back, I'll link to that. Uh, and I showed you on some of these sheets what you could use to apply the chalks, the pan pastels, the pebbles, uh, creamy chalks, and using Q-tips, cotton balls, the sponge sticks, makeup daubers, um, the actual dauber daubers, uh, pom-poms, and what you could do with them where you can actually draw, blend with them, adding them with Versamark ink, adding them with colored inks, masking, um, masking, lifting color up. Uh, if you used a dark background, erasing your image uh, when you make a background because these are erasable, and also applying the chalks directly to your ink and stamping with them uh, using Versamark ink. All of that is in the first video, and in the second video we actually moved into um, stamping on acetate and then actually stamping on black paper and chalking in the specifics. I did add some white gel pen in here to make these uh, irises pop and for a wishing you well card. But today, today we're actually gonna play a little more with liquids, and by liquids I'm talking the Dove Blender pen, uh, water pen, and uh, chalk enhancer. Oh, here's the, here's stamping on acetate, just because I found it. Uh, stamped white, stays on ink, or white uh, Stampin' Up Crafting, and you can stamp right on acetate and dab that right on. It comes out really pretty, it's a nice, Nice thing you can do. Um, but let's see here. Let's grab the chalk enhancer. So we are playing with liquids today. And chalk enhancer is just another one that will break down the color and allow you to uh, use it like a paint. Um, so let's get this out and start playing. So real quick, I'll show you the three, the three items that you have to use. Um, I am using the Stampin' Up chalks. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit so you can see what's going on. Let me grab a clean sheet of paper here, move this off to the side. So with uh, the Dove Blender pen, uh, these are refillable, so you only need to buy one and buy the, the refill with it. And what you need to do, let's pull the chalks in here, is you want to go right to the side and just color in. You can see that it will change the color of the chalk. Um, is this focused enough? Yeah. So you will see the color of the chalk and then it'll come right onto the paper. And it breaks the chalks down and it turns it into a marker, a watercolor marker. Um, it, and the more that you use it with, you can see here, this is my first squiggle. It's nice and dark uh, and it does fade away after. So depending on what you're doing with the color, uh, Dove Blender pens are great. And to get the color off, Use a scrap piece of paper and scribble that off. So we'll hide that. You can also use a water pen and it's the same technique. So make sure you have some water coming out of your brush and you can go in, we'll do blue this time. Again, it's gonna discolor the chalk on the side, but you can come in, probably should have picked a darker color. You can come in and you can color with it. It almost makes it into a watercolor um, let's see, let's do a darker color here. Let's go for purple. Always a good color to play with. So you can see what that does. So it does thin out the color a little more than uh, the Dove Blender Pen. It does turn it into more of a water color because you are using water. So again, clean your Blender Pen off or water pen, water brush, whatever you're playing with over to the side. These tips will stain. You can clean them as much as you want, but they will stain. And then the last item you can use is chalk enhancer. To keep this nice and safe. Chalk enhancer is acid free, um, but you, you don't really want to uh, drink it, so be careful. It's easy chalk enhancer. I did get this from Amazon, and they give you these great little uh, little cups that you can pour some into. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit into it. You don't need a lot. Put the cap back on here. 
and they give you little makeup brushes in the kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dip it a little bit into that, make it it's a liquid, and I'm going to hop in over here to the blue. And it breaks the color down. Probably should have went into something darker. But you can see the color. And it does give a nice vibrant color. Um, you can continue to build the layers on it because it breaks it down so beautifully and you're able to blend with it. It's really uh, a beautiful coloring technique to use. I'll go back in here and uh, let's do some purple. Just add it in. Go up to the purple just so you can see. And it just makes a nice smooth finish. So it's nice. I love it. So chalk enhancer is a great thing to use. Again, Dove Blender Pen is probably um, the go-to for most people. And uh, all of them will work. Liquids are fun. Chalks are fun. Um, I, I can't get over how much I really do enjoy using them in my card making. So, moving on. Having done all that, I do have an embossed image here. It's a wine bottle and a flower. Pull that up. And because you can use watercolor or any of the other likes, uh, I'm going to use my Dove Blender pen, and you can color right on top of your embossed images with this. So if you wanted to add some color, you absolutely could. It will come on and hang out on the, the embossed. Go back in. Your chalks do rebound from using water or the Dove Blender Pen or the Chalk Enhancer. You aren't going to ruin anything by using it. So don't be afraid to just get in there and pick that color up. Let's see if we can add some color in here. Okay. Clean that off, and then we'll go in for the blue. And it will stick right to your image, and you do have a lot more control than just dabbing it over. So I'm going to leave that one little space blank, just so you can see what I'm talking about. If you came in uh, just with a dauber, dry on the embossed, you don't get the fine detail and it doesn't stay on very well. But you can see it does stick to it and you could continue to go over it if you wanted to. Uh, you can blend the two methods together. They all kinda add some depth and dimension. I like that saying. Um, but you can emboss um, and paint right over the embossed image. Another thing you can do is you can color over a stamped image and as normal, you can do this anyway, uh, but what you can do afterwards is to add a little spark to it. If you stamp in a nice light color, I'm not going to fussy color all this. To break it up a little bit, oh, to get it, you can. Um, let's do orange here. You can add some texture to your flowers, but then what you can also do is if you can pick a light enough ink, which I, I did not do, you can add some lines to it from a marker to really define it. I use Spectrum Noir. Some people use the Copics. It's really a matter of choice or what you have in your wallet but you can outline it. So then it looks like you almost freehand your flower. Some people can get impressed by that. But just another technique for coloring and adding that liquid to the flower. So it doesn't look like a stamp anymore. I colored it and then accented it by uh, outlining the stamp that I used. You could also use black marker. 
however you want to do it. It's all entirely up to you. Okay, so the last two techniques I have for chalks are incredible. So first, I'm going to start by making my ribbon. What I am actually going to be working on is... It's, it's a fall card, but it's going to be, I wanted it to be a thank you card, but all I could find was my happy die, so we're going to go with happy. Um, but I have a piece of ribbon. It's white, both sides, well, except for the schmear that I have there. Flip over my, let me get a new scrap piece of paper. And what you can do is you can now change the color of your ribbon. So if you just buy white, you can change it to another color. So we're going to do that. I'm sticking with fall colors. I'm going to pick up some orange and I'm gonna come over and just color this in. And we'll flip it over. And the cool thing about doing this is the other side does not have to be the same color. So that's orange. The other side's going to be red. And just wait, just you wait. So as I said, this is a fall colored card, um, just because I'm doing some leaves. Now what I'm going to do, and what you should do if you are going to do this uh, technique, you can see I have orange and red. It does make your hands a little messy, so just be, be aware, is I'm going to now, um, off screen, shine, uh, use the super high shine from Mod Podge, the acrylic clear acrylic sealer, and lock that color in. So, excuse me, real quick. Try and do it over a garbage can or a ventilated area. Do one side, let it dry for a couple seconds, and then you can go back, flip it over, and do the other side. So, hang on one second, let me flip it just seals that color in. Ah, come here. Clean it over. Okay. So, I'm going to let that dry for a couple minutes and move on to the fun one. So, I have my little lunch box. We're going to zoom out just a little bit. Come on. Because what's going to happen here is we are now going to play with bleach. The colors will stick to bleach. So what I'm doing is I'm making my own bleach stamp pad. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in here. I'm going to let that soak into a white paper towel. Don't use anything with color or design. Keep that clean. Off to the side, I did start my card, and ooh, it smells like bleach. What I want to do is the stamp that I've picked, I'm going to put a Versamark on here with a, a leaf that I have, just so I just want it to be on the background. I'm really not going to do anything with it, but I just wanted a little... below it. Woo wee bleach. Let's go this way. Okay, so we'll see how that looks in a moment. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our black piece of paper, which is right here, scrap piece of paper real quick. Bleach will not hurt your stamps. You should try to wash them off as uh, quickly as you can. But when you're using black paper, the bleach is going to lift the color and stain it. So I have, again, my leaf I just wiped off. I'm going to go into the bleach and I'm going to stamp. I'm going to come back in, do it again. I think I can get that 
one in there. So we will change the stamp real quick. Go in there with our big one. And then move the stamp right here. And we'll swap that back out. I don't know if you can see the magic at home, but it's happening. I will lift it up in two seconds. And it smells nice and clean. Okay, so keep that capped. It's potent. But what happens is the bleach will start absorbing the color on the paper. And the images will start to pop the more it dries. And then you can come in with your color and go over it with the, the stamps, the chalks, and color that in. So let's see if I can speed the process up a little bit. My pumpkins didn't come out as clean as I wanted them to, but so is, we'll move on. So now I'm just gonna come in with the orange and start hitting my, my flowers, my pumpkin. If I have some orange in there, go pick up some red. And you can see the colors just really beginning to pop. I wish my pumpkin came out a little better, but that's okay. Add some green in. Really, really cool technique. Um, great colors for fall when you do this. And it just looks so very, very, very cool. Actually, on the camera, it shines even more than I thought it would. Um, you can wipe it off just to give it a quick clean. You could also use a paintbrush, uh, whatever it is you have that's available. Again, if you want to clean up the you have the eraser option anytime. So we're done with that. And now we're going to try to go find our ribbon. Bring our card back. And the ribbon is dry. I have an orange and a red side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it around my finger. We're going to make a really cheap, simple bow. Tie that in. I'm going to do a double knot on my finger. And do one more. It was a little tacky on the ends. Probably could have waited a minute or two. Okay. Reminder, if you're tying things on your finger, to uh, leave enough space to get it off. Hang on. We're coming. And then I'm going to get my tape runner. And we're going to add my chalk piece to my card base. So this is the card that I stamped in Versamark, the, the, the leaves, prior. Put that right on top. And I'm going to put my ribbon down. And this side. Put that right there in the middle. Tuck that in. that in. Shut down. So now the bow, when you make the loop like that, cut it at an angle. And now you have a cute little bow. And because you two-toned the ribbon, you have a two-toned bow. So we'll go in with my happy. Again, I was going to do a thank you card. Um, couldn't find the thank you. <laughs> so, oh well. So, and I didn't like how the pumpkin came out, so I'm going to go right over that pumpkin and hide it. And there you have it. Oops, I think the die cut got a little squirrely. Clean that off. So there you have it. Cute little card. It took no time at all. I bleached the little flowers in and then came over it with some of the stamp, the chalk stamp. Chalk stamp, yeah. The chalk pastels. Clean that up a little bit. And there you go. Another fun thing you can do with the Stampin' Up 
chalk pastels, the pebbles chalks, the pan pastels, anything like that. Don't forget, if using Versamark ink, it'll leave that watermark on a darker piece of paper and just look how you can add so much more by using household bleach and your room smells clean when you're done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This was super fun. I absolutely love this. I have a feeling I'll be doing a lot more with bleach because I certainly don't know how to use it at home. Uh, hope you enjoyed this and hope you learned something. Have a great night. I'll see you next week.